Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. It turns out during the conversion process from OpenTX to the new Edge TX 2.6 or later, some people are having issues converting from the OpenTX binary format for models and settings to the new YAML format. I'm going to show you how to get around that using Edge TX Companion. All right, we're going to jump right in and I'm going to cover the steps required to make this conversion. So if you're having problems converting from OpenTX binary format to the new YAML format, follow these steps. This is, as far as I know, the last bastion of hope. If the normal conversion process of upgrading to Edge TX 2.6 or later is failing and your model's not converting for some reason, this is the only other thing that I know how to do. So we're going to start out first by backing up your SD card. You should always do this please back up your SD card, you've been warned. If you have any problems, you can always revert and go back to where you started, so back up that card. The second step is we're gonna copy Edge TX firmware 2.7 or later to your OpenTX SD card. Don't worry about it, it'll all make sense when I go through it. All the links will be in the description, by the way, as well, so you don't have to worry about capturing them during the video. The next thing we'll do is flash the Edge TX bootloader. Then we're going to download and install Edge TX Companion 2.7 or later. This is an important step that a lot of people don't get right. Don't skip this. If you're running Companion 2.5 or earlier, it's going to break. In order to make this work, you have to download the latest version of Companion. Use the 2.7 or later. Okay. Step number five, use Edge TX Companion, not OpenTX Companion, Edge TX Companion, and read your models and settings from your OpenTX SD card. Okay, that may sound like a mistake, but trust me, it's not. Step number six, we're going to save your models and settings to your desktop. Number seven, we're going to start the bootloader. Then we're going to flash Edge TX. We're going to add the Edge TX SD card. We're going to reboot into Edge, and then we're going to write the models and settings to the radio. I've already gone through this process. I know it works, so let's get started. I'm not going to show you guys how to back up an SD card on a video. You should know how to do that. I'm just showing you my copy right here. This is my OpenTX backup, and I'm going to show you in the models directory. I've got four models, model one, two, three, and four, and I've got in my radio directory, radio.bin and models.txt. This is an OpenTX SD card, okay? That's what it looks like, and I have mine backed up. So I eat my own dog food, back up your SD card, step number one. Step number two is copy your Edge TX firmware 2.7 or later to your SD card. Now I'm going to show you for this test, I'm using two SD cards. You can do that as well if you want to. Feel free to do that. But you need to start with your OpenTX card. So my OpenTX card has a blue label. My Edge TX SD card contents have a black label. I will put a link in the description showing you how to fully populate an Edge TX SD card. I did that with the OpenTX to Edge TX Masterclass. Every step you need is in there. I'm not going to cover that today. Just suffice it to say, this SD card has all the Edge TX contents except my models and my radio settings. Okay, it's got everything else from Edge on it already. So I'm going to set that aside because we're not going to use that just yet. We're going to use the OpenTX card. So what I'm going to do is put the OpenTX card in my radio, and you do that by putting the metal tabs up facing the display and use some kind of implement. You can use another SD card, by the way, that works as well. So use an implement and just get it to latch into, into its place. And once that's in, we're going to fire up the radio and we're going to copy the Edge TX firmware to the SD card. Now we'll do that by turning on the radio. I'm going to switch I'm going to switch to the big camera cuz I want you guys to see that this is definitely OpenTX. See the little logo on the screen and if I press that, nothing happens and regarding my models, if I press my model selector and scroll, you can see I've got two categories, planes and helis. There's my planes. I've got three models on there, a Katana, a Dart 250 and an Escapade MX. In my heli category, I've got a Tron 7, okay? So this is OpenTX. Make no mistake about it, this is OpenTX. The next thing we'll do is plug the USB cable from your computer into the top port, and you're gonna look for USB storage. So USB storage, it says SD right there. We'll click on that one, and that will appear on the desktop. Okay, once these folders appear on the desktop, the folder we're looking for is the firmware folder. See this one at the top that says firmware? 
click on that. Don't mistake that for the window I just closed. The one that has two files in it, that's not where you want to be. You need to be in a file structure that shows firmware, images, logs, models. That's where you need to be. Click on the firmware directory. We're going to set this window aside for the moment. And the next thing we'll do is go to the Edge TX website and we're going to download two things while we're here. We're going to download the firmware itself and companion. So again, links are in the description. All you have to do is go over to the right hand side where it says releases and click on this link that says latest. It says Edge TX Black Pearl 2.7.1. If you watch this video at some point in the future, this version number may change. But for today, as of July 6, 2022, the latest version is Edge TX 2.7.1. So we'll click on that one and then we're going to scroll down and there's two things we want to download. We're going to download companion. There are several versions of companion. They've got it for Linux, OS 10, win 32, win 64. You choose the one that's correct for your operating system. In my case, it's win 64. I want the windows 64 bit version. So I will click on that. I've got my browser set to download to directly to my desktop. So there's companion right there on my desktop. And then the next thing we need to do is grab the firmware itself. This is edge TX dash firmware 2.7.1 zip. We'll click on that and download it. And now I've got that right here on my desktop as well. Okay. So I've got companion and I've got the firmware 2.7.1. So the second step is to copy the Edge TX firmware 2.7.1 or later to your SD card. So I'll bring my SD card contents back into the foreground and I'm going to open that zip file. All right, with the firmware folder opened, I do get questioned a lot. Do you have to unzip it first? The answer is no. In Windows, you can copy an archived folder to an unarchived or uncompressed folder without unzipping first. It's not a requirement. Also, you want to make sure you grab the right firmware. I'm using a Radio Master TX16S, so I need the firmware that says TX16S. If you're using something else like a T16 or a T18, make sure you use the correct firmware. In my case, TX16S. So the next thing to do is drag the firmware over to the firmware folder on your OpenTX SD card and just let it rip. The next thing we need to do is flash the Edge TX bootloader so we can disconnect the cable from the top of the radio. With the cable disconnected, we'll press the system button and we'll navigate over to the file manager and we'll click on the firmware folder right there at the top. There's the file we want, tx16s-a55aff0.bin. That's what we want. We're going to use this to flash our bootloader. So I'm going to scroll down to that one, and I'm going to long press it, and we're going to hit flash bootloader right there. It just takes a second, and the reason we do that is because you need the Edge TX bootloader in order to load up the Edge TX firmware. But don't worry, we haven't changed. We're still on OpenTX, all right? Everything's cool. Just follow the steps. The next step is to download and install Edge TX Companion 2.7 or later. We've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to open the zip file and then click on the executable that's inside that zip file. Windows will present you with a few warnings. That's okay. Just click more info and then run anyway and ignore the warnings. And then the little install pop-up will come up. You hit agree. For select components to install, leave Edge TX Companion 2.7 checked. And then for your location, put it where it makes sense for you on your computer, click next, next. And then I set mine for all users and we'll hit install. And this will install Edge TX Companion 2.7. When you hit next, you'll be presented with an option to run Edge TX Companion 2.7. Go ahead and leave that checked and hit next. All right, we're going to plug the radio back in and select USB storage or SD card. That's the second option. So we'll select that. And with that selected, now we're going to use Edge TX Companion to read our models and settings from the OpenTX radio. So this is OpenTX radio. That is Edge TX Companion. We're going to use Edge TX Companion to read models and settings from the radio. Don't worry, it works. So we're going to close this little firmware thing. We don't need that. And here's my o OpenTX card. Remember what I told you earlier about the label that says OpenTX on it? And if I look in the models directory, I've got model 1234BIN, no YAML files, okay? And if I look in the radio folder, there's models.txt and radio.bin, no YAML anywhere to be found on this setup, okay? So I'm going to go back to companion. I'm going to click the button right here that says read models and settings from radio. And there you go. I've got my Katana my Dart 250, my Excapade MX, and my Tron 7 helicopter. All right, now I'm just going to save this file to my desktop really quick. We're just going to save this right on the desktop. You could skip this step, but if something goes wrong, you'll be upset. So we'll call this OpenTX Models. 
and I'll just save that to my desktop. So here's the file that I just saved on my desktop. That's the OpenTX models that were read into my computer from EdgeTX Companion. Now that we've copied our models and settings from our OpenTX radio into our computer using EdgeTX Companion, the next thing to do is start up the bootloader. We're going to do that by disconnecting the USB cable from the top. Then we're going to turn the radio off. And then we'll hold T4 and T1 in inboard and we'll turn the power on. And then once the light lights up, you can let go and you'll be in the bootloader. So there we have two options in here, write firmware and exit. We've copied our Edge TX firmware onto the radio. That's how we flash the bootloader. So we've already copied the firmware. All we need to do is select the write firmware option. And then we're going to scroll down and look for that firmware that we downloaded and put on the radio a little while ago. And that one is TX16S-A55AFF0.BIN. Select that. Long press the jog dial and it'll write the firmware. Here's why I used a second SD card. You don't have to do it this way, but here's why I did it. Now I already have my edge SD card contents on this thing. The only thing missing are models and radio settings. That's the only thing not on here. Everything else is on here. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and switch out my SD card, but I'm going to turn the radio off first. I'll hit return and I'm just going to shut the radio off because I don't want it to boot up yet. Now I'm going to take out the old OpenTX card. That's just going to be removed from the radio. I'll take that out. All right. Remember that's the blue one with the blue label. O OpenTX is now gone and I'm going to put my edge TX SD card in. If you wanted to, you could have copied your Edge TX contents to the SD card while you were still in the bootloader. That would be okay if you want to use a single card. It would be fine to do that at that point. That's where you would populate all of your SD card contents from Edge onto the card. But I used a standalone SD card, so I just simply switched the cards out. Now what I'm going to do is turn the radio on. And we're going to boot into Edge for the first time. So you see it says bad radio data, it's fine. We can hit the button and let it do its thing. We don't really care about that. And it's probably gonna ask me to calibrate as well. Yeah, I don't care about the calibration right now. I'm just gonna exit out of that. The next thing we'll do is connect the USB cable to the radio and I'm going to select USB storage and I should get a pop-up on my desktop fairly quickly. There they are. And we're gonna dismiss the window that says firmware.bin and firmware.txt. We'll get rid of that. And notice my card now says ETX and I've got ETX or Edge TX SD card information on this one. I also want to point out in the models directory, there's a models1.yaml and a models.yaml. We can delete those. We can delete those. And in the radio directory, there's a radio.yaml. You can delete it or not. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to override it anyway. But I wanted to do that to show you that there are no models or binary files or yaml files or anything else on this sd card right now it's been completely erased the reason they were put there was because when we turned the radio on edge tx said well if you're going to use the radio you got to have some settings and you got to have a model so it created those things for us but we're going to overwrite those anyway by using edge tx companion so in companion i still have that open now had i not had this file open i could easily go back and click file open recents and grab my open tx models and settings they're right there okay but that's the file i left it open on my desktop now what i'm going to do is write those these models and settings to the radio and I'll do that by clicking on this arrow over here on the left-hand side, the red one that says write models and settings to radio. And we do that. It says you're about to overwrite all models on the radio. Don't show this again. Yes, let's do it. Save models and settings to radio. And now I'm going to go back to the card and show you I've got model one, two, three, four, and models.yaml. These are now YAML format. This is the folder that was empty just a second ago. And then if we go into the radio directory, you see we've got one file called radio.yaml. That's my settings file. Okay, that's it on the desktop. We've added our Edge TX card. We rebooted to Edge TX. We wrote our models and settings to the radio. We're now finished. So I'm gonna go back to the big camera. I'm gonna unplug the SD card. And what you should see is a screen with no model information. A lot of people interpret this as no models transferred, but that's not true. What happens when you convert from binary to YAML is we lose our widgets. They go away, but we didn't lose our models. So I'm going to click on the model selector and hit model select. And notice I've got my Tron helicopter. And if I click to the left, I got my Katana. 
my Dart 250, and my Escapade MX. All right, that is the binary to YAML conversion process using EdgeTX Companion. That's about the best you can do. If nothing else works, that should work. As long as Companion can read your model settings from OpenTX, this should work. Fortunately, EdgeTX Companion is smart enough to be able to read both the binary files and write the YAML files. When you're done, all you should have in your SD card folder under models are YAML files, and the only thing you should have in your radio folder is radio.yaml. I hope you liked the video, and if you do like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Go fly something. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.